Hey guys, so I wanted to talk to you a little bit about vegan cooking. When I first went vegan, it was kind of confusing for me um, what to cook, what to eat, what not to cook. I went onto the Fork Server Knives website and I found a bunch of recipes. But then I started to realize that I could really make any recipe that I wanted to vegan. And I actually found that vegan cooking is a lot easier than cooking um, on the standard American diet because uh, for me anyway, cooking meat was very difficult and I always seemed to mess it up. But vegan cooking is very forgiving. It's so easy. I mean, the worst that you're gonna do is make your vegetables too soft, too mushy. But even then, it still tastes fine. So vegan cooking, I find personally to be a lot easier than regular cooking. And uh, nothing that I've cooked so far came out bad to the point where like we wouldn't eat it. It may not have been something that we liked, like I made okra and tomatoes, but we still ate it. We didn't particularly like it. I just, it probably would be something we wouldn't like on the standard American diet either. It just, you know, there's preferences. But I wanted to show you guys this. This is a recipe book that my grandmother made a couple of years ago for, um, for everyone in the family. It's her handwritten recipes. There's a bunch of stuff in here. And when I went vegan, it was kind of sad for me that I wouldn't be able to use these until I realized that I could make them work. And now, uh, I use a lot of these recipes out of this book. Um, this is my go-to and I adapt a lot of the recipes from here to make them high carb, low fat vegan. Uh, one is the stew that I just made the other night. Another one is the chili. Uh, there's a, a stone soup in here that I make all the time that's really good. But I wanted you to know that you can still eat your favorite foods. You can still have your comfort foods that you, that you know and that you love being vegan. You just have to learn to adapt them. And you'll learn that as you're on the lifestyle, but feel free to experiment. You know, it's really, it's really easy to cook vegan. It's not a scary thing. And in the long run, it'll help you. It'll help you save money. It'll help you with your sodium intake, with your fat intake, because you'll know exactly what's going into your food. You can change it to, to fit your your needs, what you what you enjoy most, your taste. It's it's the best way to go. If you're gonna go vegan, learn to cook. That is definitely a big tip. But I want you, you guys to see that I still cook my um, my old family recipes. I still, I'll go over to my grandma's house and I'll cook for her, her old recipes, but I'll make them vegan. So don't think that going vegan means that you have to give up what you love. It just means that you find a new way to love things. So. I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions or if you have any recipes that you want me to try to make vegan, let me know and I'll do what I can for you. But don't don't think that going vegan is the end because it's not. It's just it's the beginning to a whole new world. So, thanks for watching.